good Lord. <clears throat> hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Speedle at Sonic, and welcome back to another Finding Plural Status video or Childhood Plural Trains video. Anyways, of course, as you anyway now anyway, guys, if you can, it is August six, which marks seven months since I have start, made the first announcement on the Childhood Playroll Trains Restoration Series. Of course, now, of course, I had the um, uh, video recorded already to be um, uh, posted up, but that was um, uh, during the second or the third, I forget when. But of course, I had to redo it because, of course, some um, uh, the. Uh, something came in, of course, one of the trains that I ordered had finally come in the mail, and I'm happy about it, and of course, of course which meant I had to redo the video. Of course, that being, um, uh, well, I'll be going over that in just a second, but of course, on one of the notes, and this is to why emdf 7 a is not over there, well, it's because that this train is now officially all, is now all fixed up, or at least for now. Although the, um, the the battery shell is still currently in still currently in damaged condition because of course um uh, with the um the damp with the other crack spots that I have to um to get fixed I'm probably gonna I'll probably have my dad um uh, glue it maybe and as well one of the battery clamps is um broken as well with this front bit being chipped but at least I can be able to have this train back in, back in, I can have this train in the playing field, which is good. As well, the motor I think is two speed one, but it's um, a little bit weird, but I will be keeping a close eye on that one, at least for now. I mean, at least, I mean, I will be keeping a close eye out on that train, but it will probably take a little while to try to get that one fixed properly to get the new battery shell. But of course, of course I do have the note already on there, there at the bottom of my thing. No, EMD F7A is back in action, but requires a new battery shell and new two-speed motor if necessary. So as well, oh, anyway, guys, I'm anyway, guys, I'm going to be going over uh, to those of you who are new. Um, uh, on January sixth, I made the I made an announcement video set, saying that I was going to start up a new series um, uh, from with my playroom trains that I was going to fix up every single one of my playroom trains that I had lost during my childhood. As well, ones that I had salvaged in 2023, and as and and as well with duplicates that I have in 2024. But we'll we'll get to those. Later. So anyway, starting off, we it was get of course starting off originally goes out with endf 7 a with missing the uh, the missing its motor, and of course with have replaced the battery shell. But of course the new motor has been implanted. It is a two speed motor, but it's kind of a bit finicky. I don't know if not. I mean, like one speed is kind of like a a bit off, but it does work out as a two speed mo two speed motor. But I'm gonna be keeping. But of course, I am cl keeping a close eye out on it just to be safe, just in just in case things go wrong. Anyways, anyways, after EMD F7A is to JR313. Now I don't really know what happened to this one. Of course, yeah, the paint got scruffed from the um the original shell and the shelling. Ling, um, it used to be gray, but it's brown, and I don't know how that happened. And um, it did suffer a little bit of damage in the front and piece, and as well the back passenger car I lost. So I don't know what exactly happened to that. So it is that is probably pretty, pretty dumb, or I, I don't really know what to say about that. <clears throat> Anyways, next up is a, um, a purple variant of 500 as well TX1000. Those two are missing their battery covers, battery shells, and motors. So that is um, uh, kind of dumb for how those two trains are missing pieces. Although one of them is a double A double A one with a two speed double A train with double A train with a two speed motor and a C battery train with a one speed motor. So, yeah. Now I don't know what happened to those pieces. I mean, of course I was a kid. I thought I still had the battery shelf TX one thousand still somewhere around, but I don't know entirely for sure where it is. Then following up to N1000, of course, um, this train, I only have the back passenger car of left. I don't know what happened to everything else, although I am trying to keep a close eye out to try to find it, although it is, but it is going to be pretty difficult to try to find everything. And then going on to 922, I only have the, I mean, of course, I always keep the the back passenger car shown in check because this is the, one, the only intact piece that I have left. And the other pieces I do have, Left over, although um, 
those pieces um, I only have the shells of. I don't know why I never show them in my videos, but I probably will. Re I will probably will in the, the eight month mark. Mark, maybe I don't know. Oh, I mean, it, I mean, of course, we are on to seven months now, so I guess it wouldn't make sense. But uh, I'm not entirely sure. But I'll, I'll decide in the next. In uh, I'll decide next month. And then finally, going on to 200, which of course this train is um, uh, missing its motor because it had its because it was salvaged. I don't before it burnt out, and as well as it needs new red wheels because of course um, uh, something is going on with the red. Something is an issue with the red wheels from this one, and I don't know why it is. So yeah. So that gives the status of the remaining um, uh, Chalta trains that I lost, lost as, and of course giving an update to EMD F7A. Now we're going off to the trains of 2023 that I've lost, or the ones that I've salvaged for parts. Those being zero, and of course starting out with zero. Now this one I got as a fail when I was trying to get the Fighting Play Rail variant, and I had to salvage the motor when I did get the right one because the other one, as the fun play variance motor was burnt out, out which did apparently really sucked. But of course, when I do get a new zero train to replace it, to, um, or I'd probably be getting a new one to be able to um, just resell to re to take back that motor and put it back in this one, and then resolder the end of the piece to make the light work again. Or I'll probably get, or I'll probably try to find a new one and let that motor stay in that one, whichever comes first. And then, and then next up is 211. Now, of course, um, there is a slight difference with how 211 looks a bit. Of course, the of course, as I said, with one of the trains being ordered in the mail, that being 211. Of course, the train final train thing finally train finally arrived. The middle passenger car is correct. Of course, yeah, the two speed motor came for EMD as well. The parts for EMD F7A I'm using right now. But sadly, the back passenger car is still wrong. Of course, it mat of course it matches up to the one that is of the uh, the fighting play rail variant, and that is not the one that I'm looking for, which is really really dumb. And then fine, and then finally we're on to e, and then finally we are left with EF65. Now, of course, in this train's parts have mostly been salvaged to fix up um, EF510-501's motor, motor to swap out, and EF81 to to take its passenger cars. Of course, I still have the other shell for the motor, and of course, it still remains intact as well. The wheels, which is um uh, kind of dumb with how I have to deal with that. And then finally, we have duplicates of E2 and um, EF6019, which of course I am struggling to continue to fix. Fix, but I am getting there. Um, although trying to get the um the remaining piece, I'm still trying to get that one piece for EF6019. It is taking me some time to try to get that one. I think my parents, did, I mean, of course, I did try to talk about it to my parents, parents about it, and apparently they said if I do get to end up getting that piece, then I'll just end up having extra when I actually find the actual one with, for the, um, with the crates that come along with it. And as well with the red piece, I'm still trying to look for that, but I still have no luck. And of course, those are the extra, those are the substitute pieces that I'm using for the, um, the current trains that still run, those being um, uh, 211, and um, EF6019. So, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess that's pretty much it. So, I guess, guys, that does it for this vlog for now. Oh, I'm not entirely sure what to be able to say about all this for at this moment because, of course, I did have the, have the video already set, but of course, I had to redo it. Do it in order to be able to, um, to get down, <laughs> which is kind of. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, sorry about that. If I didn't tell you guys already, yeah. after getting home, I would home from down the shore. I got I ended up getting sick a couple days later. I don't know if I got sick from my cousins or not, uh, or if it's something from that. I honestly have no idea. But whatever. Anyways, I guess that does it for the status update vlog for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to know when I upload a brand new video. It's great to have EMD F7A back into the playing field, although it is going to take a little while to try to get that train all fixed up. Not properly to find a new battery shell. Well, and, um, uh, well, yeah. You, you guys understand what I mean. But anyway, guys, that does it for this status update vlog. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye.